So, explosives. Yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way. I've obviously made a mistake somewhere. I mean, I haven't seen any dead bodies lately, or blood smears, or bone piles, and that's usually a sign the trail's gone cold. Yeah, see, there's probably a ladder here. There's no ladder here. <gasps> just these one centimeter rounded grooves to mock me. See, if I had a grappling hook, I could just go whoosh up there, then whoosh up there. Really, you don't need a physics degree to grasp the concept. But the fact that I have one is just insult to injury. I guess you don't need an architectural degree to figure things out either. I mean, what if this elevator went out? Or what if it was planted with explosives? Can I move this? That's pretty heavy. So the question is, are these plastic explosives? Which are harmless without a detonator. Or are these maybe nitroglycerin based? Where if I start banging these crates around, it's the last thing I do on this earth. Well, why take a chance? If I'm gonna level this place, I'm not gonna be half-assed about it. I'm gonna do it right. I have to blow everything up! It's the only way to prove I'm not crazy! Okay, down, 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 down. Oh, boy. I didn't think this through very well. I can't keep rationalizing away everything like this or I'm gonna die. Try Nitro's Halloween doesn't care what mood you're in. What? What's going on? Why isn't this rubble? I see stress marks in the walls, but that's it. Those weren't firecrackers! Hey, what's this? This is... This is a satchel charge! Wow, that would have been pretty handy about a minute ago! Then I could have detonated this remotely and not risk a cave-in! Which may still happen. I should go. <laughs> well, looks like somebody saw a good show. Okay, going up. Yes, up. Up! I'm starting to question whether I ever really did have a life that wasn't underground. Things get strange down here. Ah, electrical arcs. Being electrocuted is old hat for me now, all right? Well, it seems to have a pattern. Eat. Don't switch up. Don't switch up. Why is it arcing straight into concrete? So is my education about electromagnetism wrong, or is the world wrong? Oh, well, damn. I guess I could jump these, but if I scuff it, then it's going to hurt more than a little bit. I'll play it safe and just crawl under. Besides, I really can't recall any safety advice that says to run and jump around explosives. That would be dope if they had something like this for hurdles at the Olympics, though. If a runner screwed up, he would just explode. I bet the adrenaline would increase performance. Huh, I guess the alien disaster isn't slowing down production any. Gotta keep those shareholders happy. Today's episode is brought to you by the number eight. Just what are we shipping anyway? These look like engine parts. Oh god! No! Stop! Stop that! Stop! What the fuck? Did they just pop out of a box? Why were they in a box? That's Looney Tunes crap! Jesus! Well, they caught me off guard, I'll give them that. I wonder if that was their idea or if it came from up the chain of command. Yeah, I can envision some cigar smoking general ordering this. <gasps> yeah, put two soldiers in the box. When the enemy approaches, they just jump out. It's brilliant. I bet they're both named Jack, too. Hey, what's this do? Oh, great, that helps a lot. Maybe I should have taken the tram, I don't know. Then I could have loaded it up with dead bodies and just sent it forward. That would probably creep out everybody down the line. That would creep me out. If I was working in the lab and this cart full of dead scientists just rolled in. It's a real conversation stopper. Yeah, these goons write, You're dead, Freeman, on the wall, so I send them back a car full of bodies. Who wins then? Psychological warfare worked for Vlad the Impaler. It can work for me, too. Okay, looks like more crates and lasers that way. Let's see what's over this way. Yeah, I'm not going this way. All right, so this must be the right way. That was easy to figure out. So I guess the stupid flashlight, huh. I guess I'm pretty lucky the power's still working down here because if it went out and my flashlight stopped working, 
I guess I'd have to navigate my way by the light of my muzzle flashes, which would be less than ideal for a lot of reasons. Sector E, material transfer... B yeah, I'm lost. This doesn't mean anything. Oh, what the hell? A dead end? But it's Sector E! It goes down again? How is that even possible? Well, I don't want to turn around. That's even more depressing. Yep, going down. God damn it, I want some pills. All right. I guess I could just pretend I'm on some giant submarine, but that wouldn't make me feel any better. Whoa, lots of lasers. Watch your step. So, I guess let's check out the- Whoa, ho, 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 what is that? Hell's coat rack, I don't think so. Yeah! Ah! Die, 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 die! Okay, I think I got him. They flanked me, which is why I know there's one under here. Oh, maybe not. I don't think they can fit in the drawer. Even the extra long one. Well, here we are in New Mexico, back on the laser corral. Rounded up aliens so we can... Well, I don't know what we're gonna do with them. Okay, I don't want to try and do a roll through here. There's no room for error if I'm off. Space varmints. Oh, hey, grenades. Glad I didn't hit them with my shotgun. Okay, I'm gonna pretend there's a world where not all glass is bulletproof. Hey, look at that. That's the power of imagination. Ha, I bypassed it. No one can cage me. Kind of sad though. Here we have this giant underground complex and all these lasers, and instead of having a rave, we're using it for evil. Oh, speak of the devil. <gasps> yeah, I'm pretty sure he saw me. Or did he? Yeah, I think he saw me. I wonder if they're like infants and think when they can't see me that I've literally disappeared. No, I guess they're more developed than that. God, one of them's in a bunker. This is gonna take all day. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I guess that game doesn't really work from 10 yards away. Man, killing the soldiers is one of those chores where if I had any option at all, I'd just put it off. Hope it solves. Oh shit, back, back, back. Actually, now would be a great time for the lights to go out. I could make ghost noises and he might stop firing. You can't kill a ghost. Okay, this isn't working. I'm gonna have to get closer. <sighs> Out of the frying pan into another frying pan. God, I'm really slogging through here. Going inch by inch, laying down a lot of gunfire. So that probably means this is really just a dead end, and I've been taking the wrong path this whole time since that fork of the track. I'm going to kill all these people only to find out they were guarding some janitor's closet. Damn it, I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, that's right. Stay down. Well, I probably creeped them out by getting so close to them. This is sort of like playing Marco Polo, except we don't say anything, we just shoot at each other. And it's more intense. Marco! Oh, oh wait, he's the blind one, so that means I'm Polo. Shit. Polo! Polo! What? Oh, cool, I won! Time for the victory dance. Da, da 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 Wait, wait. There could still be some more players. And what the hell is that crackling sound? Yeah! So you're the one behind all this. Not anymore. Okay, let's see if I can go another 10 yards without running into any soldiers. Nope. Hey, I'm outside! No. Maybe. No. Oh, I know for sure he's been killing like buddies. Oh. Oh yeah. Ru He'll pay. He will definitely pay. There, that's for trying to guilt trip me. Yeah, the big bad Freeman. Of course, you guys didn't start shit. I don't know why I'm a patsy, but I'm not gonna take it. Fuck the system. Ugh, I'm outside. All right. Okay, blast door, blast door, this way. Man, I can't believe it's night already. Wait, are these all closed down? Fine, I'll climb out, I don't care. Here we go. Christ, the sandstone just breaks off. I'll find another way. I need a rope. 
Maybe I can strip down the soldier's uniforms and splice one together out of it. But that's gonna take a while. Nice night out, though. Is that a full moon? Oh! That security guy said this track would take me straight to the surface. Okay. Now what was the long way to the surface? 